Welcome to Highline XL 2013, video number 13. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 214, Week 3, and follow along, click on the link below the video. In this video, we're continuing in our series of videos on AND and OR criteria for making calculations. We looked at sum ifs and count ifs and average ifs and D functions. In this video, we want to look at the table feature. Now, formulas are great if you have data that's changing because the formulas will immediately update you know you type the criteria in a cell and boom instantly the formulas update sometimes however you have a data set and if you have your data set converted to an Excel table and we saw how to do that back in video number eight in this class but if you have an Excel table and you want to use your drop downs for filters to get various type of criteria you can add a total row to the bottom of the table and your calculations can be done. Now let's go to the bottom of the table. I'm going to click in the table and control down arrow. And oh, I already did it. Well, I guess I can show you how to remove the total row and then I'll show you how to add it. It's the same way. Right click. Oh, I'm going to go down to the table and total row. So I'll actually boop and there it goes. So you can turn it on that way. Right click table has to be a table first, remember, and then add the total rows. If you don't, don't know about tables, go back and watch video number eight. But the way I love is there's a keyboard. Now we know the keyboard for the auto sum is alt equals, but if you do it at the bottom of a table, alt equals, we get our total row. And what's cool about the total row is there's a little drop down and you can change to get different calculations. So I'm going to keep it as a sum. Now I'm going to use control home to go to the top. We're going to do each one of these examples and see that they're possible with an Excel table. So here we have four AND criteria. And I have it, the criteria listed up here as we had in our video on D functions. We don't really use that. We actually use our drop down. So I'm going to go to the date. And I'm going to do between criteria. So I go up, I get my date. I move my cursor over to between. And one thing that's inconvenient about the table is we can't really link this to the cells like if you have formulas. But you can if you're just doing on the fly analysis. You can just type your date. So I'm going to type it. And notice it says is after or equal to. That's the lower date. And then the upper date is before or equal to. 1225-2011. So I'm going to click OK and instantly that will filter. We can immediately tell that the rows are hidden. Notice that the row headers are blue. Now there's no hidden numbers here like there usually are because all these numbers, this data set was sorted upon the date column. Toy name, uncheck select all and then select airplane. Click OK and now it's further filtered and now we can see some missing rows. Uh, 50 to 58. And finally, we go get our last AND criteria from the payment column. Uncheck Select All and let's check Visa. And there it is. That's the same number we got when we did our D functions. Now, if we wanted to change the calculation, just come here and check this out. We want to count boop, 13. That's the same number we got. We want an average. We, that's the number we got. And if we wanted standard deviation, STDEV. Just like that, we have done AND criteria calculations with four criteria on a using the Excel table feature. Now, let's unfilter. We could go to each one of these filter icons, or we can go up to the data and just click Clear. All right, so this is OR, so we simply come to this payment column, unchecked all, and then check Visa, MasterCard, and Discover. Those are all of our credit cards and instantly. Now the total for here will be at the bottom, right, of the data set. Oh, that's way down. Oh, that's way down. I'm going to use Control Down Arrow, and we're going to change the calculation to Sum. And there's our Sum. Control Home. I'll click in the data set, and now I'm going to unfilter. Clear. All right, and finally, we have one where we have and, and, or criteria, right? So between this date and, between this date and, airplane, and then the same thing down here. All right, so we simply come over to our date column and do our between. 
enter. So we filtered on that, and now we need to do from our toy name, airplane and policeman. Uncheck airplane. So we'll just check airplane and policeman. Click OK. Our total, control down arrow. There is our total. If we look back over, if we compare to what we did before, right? There we go. So the table feature, control home can definitely be used for on the fly and or or even and and or criteria together. All right, see you next video.